football, this big crowd tonight, they're here to see two marquee names, the quarterbacks. Dylan Riola is headed to Ohio State. He's the number one overall player in his class against a guy that's getting Kyler Murray comparisons, DeMont Williams, the quarterback for Basha. So our Axe player spotlight is those two guys, Dylan Riola and DeMont Williams. Yeah, why am I so bullish on a 2024 quarterback class? These two young, young men are a big reason why. Two of the premier quarterbacks. DeMond Williams is a true dual threat, a really exciting player to watch, and Dylan Royal, the number one overall player in his class. There's only been three other quarterbacks that have finished number one in the ESPN 300 era. That speaks volumes about what Raiola can bring. And you think he's a little bit like Justin Fields, of course, going to Ohio State. Yeah, you look at the frame, the big, sturdy frame, the arm strength. He's also mobile. He can get outside the pocket, create second chance opportunities. He's got a talk about potential playmakers. Number 13, he could be one as well. They're going to try to get the football in his hands as much as they can tonight. And he won't get a chance to touch out. That's a smart kickoff right there. <laughs> For Dylan Raiola, he's gotten it complete to 12 different guys this year, including this guy who might be his best receiver. Pretty good running between the tackles, though, for Khalil Valentine. Both true carries for him. Now a third for Valentine. And he breaks this into the open field around the edge, has the first down and the sideline, and he's shoved out past the 35-yard line. He's his dad, Dominic Rail, a successful football player himself. Off of the play fake, it's Obache again, and Cole Martin beats him. But Rick Garrett's and the head coach for Tandler says. And he's getting under center. I love this. Short yardage. Yep, here's Dylan Raiola under center. And that extra effort on the spin may not have been enough. That side for Chandler. And on second and long, Valentine stretching it out. And makes it third down and manageable for. Great drop for Raiola, and he goes underneath, and he's got it to his running back, Valentine, who punishes the defender down the sideline, and he has the first down. Looking down, look at all the space that he had to run, and then, listen, he he, he may have a lean frame, but he, he's got some oh. power. Plus play drive down in the goal line. And Chandler back to Valentine, who's carried them on this drive and into the end zone. Watch the patience there by Valentine, the footwork. Gets up to the, presses the line, lets the hole open, then pushes it through. Eight carries, 47 yards on that drive by Valentine, plus that big reception. For a chance to return it for Cole Martin, who's headed to Oregon. The safety for Bashup moves his feet up to the 30-yard line. He doesn't have a very big frame, but just he does a nice job. It was a lot of... You know, we've seen smaller quarterbacks starting to come along and develop. Kyler Murray, Bryce Young this season. Over 1,300 yards passing, nearly 70% completion. They let him throw it on his first chance of the night. He's got to complete to DeRay Scott, and he's got a first down. Good back run next, right? And he holds on to it, and he does use the legs to get out. And using that escape ability to get a first down. The backup quarterback and slot guy. Chandler, and he's not going to have a chance because that punt is very short. Led by the number one player in the 24 class. There's Raiola invade some pressure. And after a pancake from one of his own linemen, he has time to get it off, and he's got it complete. With all that dancing around. Splits right up as he's able to step aside. He's going to give a little turn. Didn't need it, but reverse field. And does a nice job of finding an open receiver. He's got a stacked box against him on third down and one, and they stack him up. And oh, there are four Bash of defenders the there. For the football, but 23, you see him just step up and fill. Chris McDonald is getting players, trying to beat Chandler for the first time since 2011. And he's got the quarterback to do it. DeMond Williams breaking two tackles, then a third, then a fourth, and he escapes free. Five tacklers down, and he's still on his feet. DeMond Williams. Inside the 10. This is it. This was the fourth trait, the adaptability. Things break down. He finds a seam. I think he's going to go down. He spins out of it. And right here, just going to lose his footing a little bit. Keeps it. But just that allows that Chandler defense to be able to rally and get downfield to stop. Again, got to get your opinion on something. After that big run, second and goal. And Williams pointing at guys in the end zone, but going down. Tried to get rid of it. See if Williams has his win back. 
Looks right and left. Got all day to throw here. And he checks it down. He's got it to his back, who's backing his way in. And the ball comes out at the goal line. Touchdown, Deshaun Buchanan. Outstanding job giving him all the time that he needs. When he finally does get pressure, he's able to step up, get it to his back, and then he just backs it in. You mentioned it, working on those calves. Well, for the play calling for Chandler on this drive so far, it's with their workhorse back. Quarterback and coaching guys that want to run the ball. <laughs> said, it's just a conflict having a quarterback. I want an alignment. Well, his guy can throw it pretty well, and he's got it complete. It's Obache again for a big gainer and a first down. He just laid that in there, and almost like he's going to put it up there. A little bit of air. Going to watch Obache just run underneath it. It wasn't even in a pitcher. To put an end to the first quarter. And an evenly played game so far. There's going to be an unofficial visit by the whole family to Nebraska this weekend, which is creating some news and some speculation. And Raiola going down. He is sacked. Sandwich down. Jackson Browning the first there. All right, so now he's got a sidestep into a good run. Well, that would have checked that box, but he's dumped in the backfield by Jeremiah Young. Very athletic defensive end. Number 44, Jeremiah Young. And still in minus territory for Bashup. Trying to take the lead for the first time tonight. Out of pressure again. It was McElveen again, but not the second time. Roman Kupu up from linebacker. McElveen with the initial pressure. Forcing Devon on the move as he breaks out. All 40 times a night. It might be in for a fight tonight. He gets involved in the passing game, too, and over his head, it's complete. Star prospect, Arizona and Arizona State have offered. Here's Valentine on third down, burrowing his... The third and seven, Raiola going down! He is sacked by Jordan Howard. Jordan Howard doing a nice job quickly getting upfield by the time Rolla gets himself set. Number 26 is right there on top of him. Four-star quarterback uncommitted, Demond Williams, handing off to Buchanan, and he whirls his way. Projected to make the FCS playoffs this year for the first time since 95. And a quick hit out for a first down to Scott. Garrett's in here just talking about his son getting into coaching in Arizona. Three straight punts for this offense. And Khalil Valentine has been a tough tackle tonight. Running back out near a first down. But did the ball come out? It did not. He was down first. There, see if that ball pops out beforehand. They do. They rip it out before he got down. Obviously, it's high school, no replay. But that Basha defense being very aggressive, able to pull it out. But so Eight yards for Valentine on first down. And a quick throw to Caden Anderson, the tight end, who gets out of a tackle. And this tight end can run. Oh, and he can hit. Three times this year. Hey, hey, well, he's that good. Been on there a lot. Third down and seven after the timeout. Tight window throw for Riola. He's hit from 55 in practice. Just to give Chandler the lead with less than a minute until the half. And it's a low kick that won't get there. Now, one timeout, I'm with you. Maybe give it a shot, but... We'll take this into the half. Head coach talked about Hanger playing off of motions this week, showing off his strength there. Here's Williams, out where he was dangerous in the first half, and he picks up those five yards. It continues. And they do snap it. They don't get movement. They do get a first down, and out of the cannon, there goes Buchanan. Down the sideline, and finally shoved out by Erlacher. You get him in fourth, now you're thinking we can't jump, we can't move. Maybe you slow down the aggressive a, a little bit. Well, two personal foul penalties on this drive, so basically a stalemate after that sack. And Williams throws a sharp ball, complete, but just shy of the sticks. And Buchanan's in there. No clean window to get through, so he bounces it outside. And it'll depend on the spot in that spot. Says turnover on downs. Right under center here. With a fullback two straight ahead. And that Basha line does not give much ground, but. The Wolves appear to have enough for the first this down. This one looks like he does have it. Martin, big hit, going to Oregon. Milkovic headed to Boise State. So third down and eight. And a throw on the move to Blake Heffron is complete. And he gets popped, but it's a first down. Giving Raiola a pocket, then a really nice pass. You're going to see the defender right through the outstretch hand, put it right where he needed it to be. Yards to be had, but not many points to be had tonight. Third and 17, and he goes down again. 
Brody Jones gets to the five-star quarterback. You can bring pressure and feel confident in that secondary. That is what they do. The Rivalry win against Hamilton. Williams. Williams to the edge. Needed 12, and he's got the first down. So first play for Bash in this fourth quarter on third and three. It's Williams ripping his way through a tackle for a first down. So after the strong run on third down for Williams to start the quarter, back it up to first down of 18. And a scoreless second half so far. Williams from the backside is taken down. Second time tonight, Taylor Graham in for a loss. They're storming in there. They do a nice job. You see them squeezing down number 33, making the tackle, driving them back into the end zone. But of anybody else on this Basha team, they don't go to him. Instead of the back, Buchanan and a forearm shiver with a first down. Landed on this. Lower in his shoulder. So a night of punting so far. Continues midway in the fourth quarter. And that takes a Chandler bounce out toward the 30-yard line. That's number one Chandler trying to keep their undefeated season alive with the number one overall player in the 2024 yeah, class, throwing it to open up the drive, and it's complete to Obache. Reed Styles Obache, speedy slot receiver. Dial is given time. That window starts to close. And he gets it away, downfield complete, and a big play through the passing game, out to Jackson Branch. We see here Raiola running around, doing a nice job. You see the arm strength on the move. Again, we talked about that mobility. And a fourth down and 13. Yeah, you passed the opportunity there for the field goal. You didn't see here, maybe a little Raiola just Pooch it, or at least you try to get it here. Rolls out, looking to throw. And taking a shot to the end zone. And that ball's incomplete. He had Blake Heffron down there breaking open. And off his hands to turn it over on downs. With the four-star quarterback, Devon Williams. He has that tipped, and that's intercepted. Game's first turnover. Into the hands of the Sam Landbacker hanger. Oh, and flags come out. like he caught it. It's going to be Amari Washington, the Oregon commit, who's going to get his hands up to deflect it. And it looks like it was underneath it. it looks like he controlled it. it looks like, looks like it was get a good look here. Like he rolled under that. Yeah, I mean it. First and 15. And Chandler brought four. Here goes Williams into the open field. And he switches it to the sideline and runs out of bounds. Oh. Uh, pull it. So you got number eight leading through there. The suddenness to be able to kick it into gear and get to the sideline after he gets what he needs. So you get it down toward that 25. You're well within his range. This is a shot for Williams down the seam. That's complete. And down at the one yard line. Bryson Denman has been quiet a lot of the night with the biggest play of the night. For Bash and a first down. That's such a key part of this offense, as you mentioned, really hasn't been called much tonight. Here they drive the football downfield. Beautiful pass from the ESPN Junior 300 quarterback. The Ohio State commit, Raiola. Out of empty, gets out of trouble again. Eyes downfield again. Running out of time, but he's got it complete. Heffron across the 40 yard line. And a first down to keep the drive going for Chandler. Wide, and became the starting quarterback this year for the Chandler Wolves. On third down and two. Another quick pop, and it's nearly intercepted. Undefeated season hanging on this play for the number one team in Arizona. Raiola with time, tipped, and intercepted. DJ Jamin has it for Basha. And the 
Bears are 122 away from their first win over Chandler since 2011. Push up field. Number 23 is Wyatt Milkovic with the deflection. And kneel down for Williams. And that should do it. A year ago, Basher's first undefeated regular season in school history. This year, the win over Hamilton on the walk-off field goal last week, and now a big one over at Chandler. Such a power in this state. Chris McDonald doing an outstanding job with that Basher program. Well, Basher has never played for a state championship, but tonight they take out number one in the state and are legit state contender in Arizona, winning 14-7 over Chandler.